hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel oh my gosh guys long time no see wow uh, it's been a while honestly i don't know if you can see but i am a bit more tanned than usual because i've been in a vacation yes i've been in a vacation uh, i celebrated my birthday there but now i'm back i mean i've been back home for a few weeks now but uh, I, has, I had a lot of work to do so I couldn't film so this is the first time I'm filming after I'm back from my vacation I feel like doing more of a chatty video today um, where I live it's starting to get into autumn guys and if you know me you know that uh, autumn and winter fragrances are like my my fragrances you know like those are my kind of fragrances and i have a lot of fragrances uh, that i haven't worn in quite a, a long time and i'm really excited to wear them again and today i want to show you what those fragrances are so basically guys if you're interested uh let's begin by the way grab a coffee i have here my coffee uh and uh, let's talk about fragrances don't forget to let me know in the comments please i would really appreciate to know what are your fragrances that uh, what are the fragrances that you're really excited to wear during the autumn season i was like i will only show a few fragrances but here i have 13 so let's begin <laughs> Uh, yes guys, I will go uh, in a random order honestly. Okay, so the first one, um, hold on, let me actually put my coffee down. So the first one I grabbed is Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. Uh, this one, I've actually wear it, worn it uh, like a few days ago. I really enjoyed this fragrance a lot. To me, this is a very like, it has that typical designer DNA, but it's more than that. It's super sexy, super feminine, super provocative, in your face kind of fragrance. I love it. Uh, it, apparently it's very heavy on patchouli, but the patchouli here it's not bothering to me at all So I absolutely love this one and I feel like this one in the summer it works really well But in the fall it shines the best. So yes, I'm really excited to shower myself in this fragrance Honestly, uh, it's not the kind of fragrance that uh, needs a lot of sprays. This is like um, the current batch that's being sold like from 2021 and uh, I don't have any issues with the performance guys. I had this one in my collection in the past. I finished it, never repurchased it, but uh, uh, after a while I just started to crave it again to have it in my collection. So here it is, I have two bottles, I have this one and another one and I'm really 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 excited to wear this one, so yes. Next one guys, I feel like I've never showed this fragrance here on YouTube or like only once or twice I think. Um, and I've never showed this one to you because um, I don't reach for it that often myself. So basically guys, this is from the brand uh, Rue Broca, which is like a sub-brand of uh, Afnan. Yes, I always mix Afnan with Armaf, but it's by Afnan guys. And this one is called Penthouse Winter. Now, this one, uh, wow, uh, it's really beautiful, but it's very... Um, this one for sure leans very masculine, but it's a masculine that I could still pull off. But to me, this one smells like if you were in a church with like very high concrete walls, it was very cold inside and you smell some incense burning. This is the vibe I get from this one. I know this one has leather. Yeah, there's something really interesting and unique about this one, but I do not wear it that often because it... First of all, it's really potent, like really potent and second of all like um it, it's a very cold fragrance and i'm a very warm person like my personality how i am with people i'm very warm in general so this is like the the contrast like the contrasting fragrance to my personality you know so this is why i don't see myself reaching for this one that often but it's really beautiful uh man can pull this one off easily i mean Honestly, I feel like men could, could pull this one off better than women. So basically, like if you're looking for a really strong leather rose, slight incense cold, like uh, unbothered kind of fragrance, this is the one. Uh, it smells really great. I like to sniff it, but uh, I don't wear it that often. <sighs> okay, guys, this next one. Huh? I'm really excited to wear this one. I have to be very honest. I've worn it in the summer as well, even though like typically speaking, like this is a cold weather fragrance blah blah i love it in the summer and i cannot wait to wear it in the colder months as well 
This one is from Latafa guys and uh, if you ask me, in my personal opinion, this is one of the best fragrances from Latafa, like hands down, one of the best from what I've tried so far and I keep in mind I've tried quite a lot of fragrances from Latafa but I'm, I'm really subjective when I say this as well. So, so guys, the fragrance that I'm talking about is Kaid by Latafa. This is really spicy, like the best way that I can, that I could describe this fragrance in my opinion it smells just like your burning incense like your burning incense sticks uh, that are like spicy vanilla flavor but like really heavy spicy vanilla flavor more spicy than vanilla and then you go in and you have a sniff and you get that like you get the scent of it basically and you also get this like dusty Thing in the back of your throat because if you've ever smelled incense too close then you know what I'm talking about so yes I absolutely love this one like guys the performance for this one oh my gosh it's amazing and um, I think this is the current batch that's being sold hold on let me... okay I need to check uh, to see if I still have the packaging for this one but I think that this is the current batch that's being sold uh, I love it oh my gosh I love it like it's a beautiful fragrance, very unique. Uh, I've never actually smelled anything like this, so uh, I would say that it's really unique. Uh, so yes, guys, if you are tired from the typical uh, caramel, rose, wood combo with a bit of incense, with a bit of this and that, then I would highly advise you to uh, check out Khalid. Uh, it is a unisex, but keep in mind, guys, that again, this one is a true unisex. It's not a unisex that leans feminine. I feel like this scent doesn't have gender. Like, this is the kind of fragrance that, again, like I said, it doesn't have gender to me. As long as you enjoy the smell of this one, you could pull it off, no matter if you're a woman, not man, no matter if you're a man. But keep in mind that it's a bit heavy on the leather. Uh, I get more leather than wood from this one, so keep in mind it's a bit heavy on the leather, so if you're not really into leather, uh, the leather note might uh, bother your nose a bit, but test this one if you have the chance, give it time and most likely it will grow on you. I had great feedback from uh, some of you who have purchased this one and uh, you told me that you really enjoy it, so yes. Now guys, this next one, uh, I don't wear it that often either. either. Uh, and I don't know why because it's a very beautiful scent but it has a very particular scent profile so you either love it or you hate it personally I love it but uh, this is a more of a special occasion kind of fragrance for me the last time I wore this fragrance uh, I think it was like a few weeks ago and I went, to had the, I went to have a haircut and that's when I chose this fragrance and now when I smell this fragrance I actually I remember the last time I went to have my haircut <laughs> um, guys I'm talking about Orchid Prairie by uh, Rasasis from their Life Come One collection I absolutely love this collection, okay? Like, I've only tried, I only have two bottles from the collection. I have this one and I have Jasmine Wisp. I love both of those and I feel like the performance for this collection, it's absolutely amazing. Rasasi did an amazing job with this collection. I really want to try the uh, Laya Kawan Parfum. Uh, that one I know it's supposed to be a dupe for Black Orchid and uh, I already own Black Orchid in my collection but uh, <laughs> I want to test that one as well because I don't know, I'm just curious about it. So if you have that one in your collection or if you've tried it and uh, you can tell me how similar that one is to Black Orchid, I would really appreciate it. These next two guys are like my current obsession when it comes to fragrances. When I was in Egypt, like this combo was like legit almost the only fragrance that I wore and oh my gosh, everyone was asking me what I'm wearing, what I'm wearing because I smell amazing and um, that is thanks to Swiss Arabian guys. Uh, I love Swiss Arabian as a brand, I love their fragrances and I do want to try more but it's really hard to sample them here in Europe so I don't know, we will see about that. But guys, I'm talking about Oud... Of course I show them like this, but whatever. I'm talking about Oud Aswad and Shagaf Oud. These two together, guys, are like a powerhouse. Like, let me tell you something. If you want to smell bossy, if you want to smell rich, if you want to smell opulent, if you want to smell unique, and if you want 
everybody around you to be able to smell you then you need to check out these two together like I cannot like guys I've been through a full bottle of this one and this one like uh, I have really little little bit left and I have to repurchase it and I think I will buy like two bottles because I love the current formulation and I don't want them to change it oh my gosh guys like opulence sophistication like <sighs> these two wow wow but Keep in mind you do have to uh, like fragrances that are very heavy if you don't like fragrances that are very heavy then i don't think that you would enjoy this one especially this one this one you might enjoy it because it has a sweetness to it so it makes it a bit easier but this one you won't enjoy it but personally i absolutely love this one oh my god but people seem to love this combo like guys my friends and friends of my friends who are not into middle eastern fragrances at all Everyone was asking me, what are you wearing? It smells amazing. It smells amazing how these two are called. So, I mean, how the fragrance is called because they thought it was just one, but it's actually like, this is like my layering secret. Can I say it like, yes, this is like my layering combo secret. So yes. Okay, super quick. This one, I love it in the summer. I love it in the autumn as well. I cannot wait to wear this one in the autumn. I feel like it works really well. Uh, but like I said, this one, you already, heard me speaking about this one like numerous times so yes <laughs> okay this next one guys um is from pascal morabito and it's called gold wood edition i have actually filmed a video about this one and i compared this one to wood touch by frank olivier because they are really similar um and i've mentioned that i don't i hate like not that i don't like i hate the dry down of this one but i have found a way to make it work so basically a uh, first way is you only apply this one to your skin and you reapply it every four to five hours so you don't get to that weird dry down part and then at the end of the day you take a shower and you scrub this one off of your skin or you apply it on your skin and on your clothes and you again reapply it every four to five hours and then at the end of the day you take a shower you scrub this one off your skin and you put your clothes directly in the washing machine this works for me <laughs> this i can guarantee that you will not smell the weird dried out part another one that again like to me this screams colder months vibes i've tried to wear it in the summer you can still wear it but it might be a bit too much but for this season right now it is oh my gosh i love it if you are into uh, oriental fragrances like if you like that typical oriental dna and if you like leather i love leather in fragrances like i never thought that i like leather as much as i do but i like it it's it's like one of my all-time favorite notes when it comes to fragrances like leather wood rose spices that kind of vibe now this one guys it's a uh, pure gold by calvin klein I have not tried the liquid gold i want to try it but i cannot find it anywhere like i legit it's like out of stock everywhere i look so i only have this one but this one is just as beautiful like to me absolutely stunning um when i smell this one guys to me it smells like leather and cherry even though it doesn't have any cherry notes it has like almond dates like some solar records uh, I'm not gonna insert the notes, but basically this one is made around the leather and it has some really like um, Not crisp, but almost like uh, sweet uh, a tiny bit sour uh, a bit bothering note that I really love Does that make sense? I don't know But yes, uh, I absolutely love this fragrance and with an outfit like this this one would work like amazing Like oh my gosh, like if you uh, have a lot of Calvin Klein fragrances like in your area and you can find them at a great price check out check out this one if you like Kaid by Latafa you will really enjoy this one uh, I would say that it's sweeter it is not spicy but basically if you enjoy the leather note in Kaid uh, you will really enjoy this one as well guys this is a very unique fragrance uh, I've never I've never smelled anything like this and the uh, first time uh, I heard about this fragrance was uh, on YouTube and I was watching one of uh, Mona Katan's videos and she mentioned this one and uh, I looked it up, I saw it that I had it at a great price uh, where I lived, so I bought it. I've loved it ever since, like, there's just something about this one, I don't know. It's one of the more unique offerings from the designer section. 
Okay, now let's talk about the sister cousin of this one. Uh, this one is called Amber Gold. Yes, guys, this one is called Euphoria Amber Gold or like Euphoria Amber Gold. And like, I love this one as well, honestly. Uh, but now guys, this one to me is only a fragrance that I would wear in the colder uh, seasons because in the summer, the, it, it's too sweet, too thick and too dense to wear this one in the summer. It will bother you, like most likely it will bother you, but this one in the colder months, it has like this cozy, cozy quality to it. Wow, this one is super feminine, like super feminine. Uh, a bit cozy it's like a warm hug or like a warm blanket and the performance for this one is really good honestly so guys this next one uh, i don't reach for it that often because it's again it has a very particular scent profile but when i'm in the mood to wear it uh, i absolutely love it and uh, guys this one is rose calligraphy by aramis basically to me this is a very balsamic take on rose you have rose mixed here with a lot of balsams and resins and amber so you have it it's very dense it's very warm it's very polarizing and the rose here is very sweet as well so i think this is the most uh, balsamic fragrance or like the most balsamic resinous fragrance that i have in my collection but i need to be uh, in a specific mood to wear fragrances like these and the performance for this one guys it's absolutely amazing and um, keep in mind the fact that this fragrance first of all is discontinued uh, and second of all like my bottle i think it's from 2013 so it was prior to many reformulations you know um so this is why I think that it performs so well. Yeah, sweet, full, dense rose. I have to check if this one has labdanum, but I, I really, I can really smell something that smells like labdanum. Because I have absolute of, I cannot speak guys, oh my gosh. I have absolute of labdanum in my collection and uh, I really get like that, uh, that same vibe from this one as well. If you're a rose lover, you need something like this in your collection, honestly. Now guys, the last one, it's again another rose fragrance, but this is more of a colder take on rose. Uh, this, guys, is Club de Nuit Intense for Women by Armaf. Uh, my bottle, like, it's a joke with the packaging of uh, Armaf, like, it's like, it's a joke, but let's not talk about this. Guys, to me, this is a rose patchouli and geranium combo basically this is not your very sweet rose you know don't expect this one to be a very sweet rose to me this is a very cold and uh yeah cold fragrance cold dark fragrance um with a bit of sweetness a bit of dustiness earthiness it has some earthiness to it as well from the patchouli to me this the rose in this one guys like the rose and the geranium it smells like you would uh, go after the rain and you would smell a rose this is the vibe i get from the rose here the lasting power for this one is not as great as uh, i was uh, expecting it to be but it's decent so yes guys those were the fragrances uh, i know there are a lot uh, honestly, I had even more to begin with, but I had to take some out because otherwise the video would be like too long. Um, so yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share with me what uh, fragrances are you really excited to wear during the autumn. Something else I wanted to add guys is that I'm very sorry that it's taken me so long to reply to your comments. I see them, but the fact is that since i got back uh, from my vacation i had a lot of work to do for my real job so this is why it's taking me a bit longer to reply to your comments um but i will reply to all of your comments thank you thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please put them down below and i promise that i will get back to you i really appreciate each and every one of you thank you again for watching and i want to wish you an amazing day wherever you are bye